move up. Out in front. Greg saved by Caesar. Hey, you're there. Not tonight. Another nice move to Lindy. Back for Straka. He scores! Lindy and Straka! The Florida Panthers, under new head coach Doug McLean in his first National Hockey League season, set out to make the playoffs in 96. A realistic goal for a pretty good third-year team, but what happened next was certainly unexpected, magical, and ended up bringing the Stanley Cup Finals to South Florida, something no one could have thought of before the season began. The Cats battled with the best, and they clawed their way to the top. They faced off at New Jersey against the defending Stanley Cup champion early October. Remember, they raised the banner there? Shut out 4-0. They only got 17 shots on goal. It did not look good for McLean and company. The next day, though, the Panthers came home to Miami Arena to take on Calgary. They got the win, and they also picked up the good luck charm of the season. Scott Mellenby playing the Orkin Man in the dressing room. You remember it. Killed an unwanted guest that would have become as much a symbol to the Panthers as the glass slipper to Cinderella. He proceeded to score a rat trick that night, two goals, and brought the rat craze to South Florida. Who knew would still be alive in June of the next year. In Japan and in South Florida, it truly was going to be the year of the rat. The Cats started off well, and a flying start indeed. No one could have predicted that either. Against Toronto on November 14th, they came back and scored four third-period goals. Plain and Rangers coach Coley Campbell were in a race for points and a chance to be the Eastern Conference All-Star coach in Boston. It beats Mellonby, shoots and scores! Scott Mellonby! A beautiful goal from the side of the net! Points, fire, score! Jesse deflected it home! And the Panthers have another power play goal! The Rangers and Panthers have been neck and neck, and they finally met in Miami. But New York dominated in front of the home crowd, shutting out the Cats. They scored twice in the first three minutes. Things went downhill from there, winless in seven games, and they hit rock bottom after being brutalized by the Blackhawks, both physically and mentally. Chicago scored eight goals, the most allowed all season. In fact, the most the Panthers have ever allowed. The team may have packed it in at that point. Morale was very low. But instead, they picked themselves up. That was a Monday. On Wednesday, they would go to the Garden. MSG. The Panthers proved they could play with the Rangers, coming away with a tie. And in the final game of the season, the Cats were looking for a home ice advantage and got it against the Rangers. Barnes comes through center, and the fans stew right away. Lowry here. Back for Barnes, out in front, deflected away, regained. Shot out in front, and Shepard scores! Barnes got it back, but Shepard in the slot, and a minute and 13 in. The Panthers move one step closer to the home ice advantage. They lead one nothing. Thrown out in front, Curry, great! Oh, what a glove stop on Yari Curry from right on top of the goal crease. Curry looked like he had it done, and these fans are on their feet. He fires deflected, score! Rob Niedermeyer! It's Niedermania, a power play goal, 2-0 catch. One more step close to the whole night. The rebound, Malibu! Goes to the net for Garfield. He's up and shoots and scores. The goal is pointing to Garf. Four nothing catch. A route at Miami Arena in game 82. 
The Panthers marched into the playoffs as the Bruins came to the Rat House and cruised to a victory in game one in front of a sellout crowd. Barnes with a good hands goes behind. Barnes with a crowd yelling Stu. Makes a move on McLaren. Dances with it. Throws it on a foot. Shepard is then shoots the scores. Ray is our Shepard. It's a power play goal. Five holes at 9.02, and it is 5 2 Cats. They're running out of rest. For Garfield, he's going to get in alone. Deke shoots score. The goal, according to Garth, puts the icing on playoff game one kick. And the Panthers will take a 1 0 lead in the Monday's game two here at Miami Arena. Garfield ensures. Up three games to one, back in Miami, the Panthers would close it out in game five. Oh, throw down in front, they score! Ryan Stoodman, fights up, and Ryan Stoodman! Play on the at 3-0-3! The rest on the ice, and the Panthers take control of 1-0. Laws keeps it at right point, wrist shot, score! Oh my goodness! You just never know! Paul Laws, wrist shot from the right point! Of course, it was game five. The goal of the year was scored in. Probably the call of the year for me, too. Lucky enough to be there for it. If you were, you remember this one well. Blocked by Hull. Cleared out, and Lindsay will pick it up. Lindsay comes up, trying to turn for it. Lindsay gets in. Penalty coming up. Lindsay shoots. Score! What a play! What a play! What a play! of the Eastern Conference playoffs in the National Hockey League. Once again, the league sat in disbelief as Florida cruised to a first-round win. Moving on to Philadelphia, where victory seemed even more unlikely, they did it impressively, though, in game number one. They get a two-on-one off the change. Barnes comes in. Barnes moves in. Deke shoots. Scores! He brought it to the backhand after faking the pass on the forehand. Barney put it up stairs, and Stu makes it. one of the Panthers at 556 of period number two. Russ Lowry turns. Shoots. Score! Dave Lowry roofed it. He waited and put it upstairs over Hextall, and the Panthers have a 2 0 for John Van Beesbrook in his first in nine years since 1987. And the Panthers play a picture-perfect road game, making this building a tomb. It is very quiet as they file out. Florida surprises Philadelphia 2-0. And Cinderella still dancing here in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Losing game two and losing game three, it made it look pretty bleak, but game four was a turning point. Down two games to one, a loss would be tough to come back from. Instead, they fought. Niedermeyer coming in, turns to Jardin. Kadin shoots and scores! Robbie Niedermeyer comes to life! It's Niedermania at Miami Arena! A 1-0-2 win! The Panthers take a 1-0 lead. Here's Robbie. Shoots! He scores! Top shelf stop! Tip by Melody was perfect. Bounce be 
between the legs of Hextall, and the Panthers grab the lead back 3-2. Michael Renberg scoring a goal that put the game into overtime and did not look good, but rat in hand on the edge of their seats, Dave Lowry gave fans just what they wanted in the OT. Rindemore had it, lost it, Jovanovski at the left point, wrist it on, Lowry scores! Dave Lowry scores! Dave Lowry scores! The Panthers win! The Panthers win! At 4.06, the Rats love the late night. They deflect it home, and it's all over. We're back to Philadelphia, tied at two. And game five went even longer. And Lowry's drop pass, firing shot. Score! No! Yes, it did go in! It does go in! It carried across the line. The screen set by Shepard at 239. Barnes with the shot to play nearly offside. But the Panthers' big line of Barnes, Lowry, and Shepard comes through again in this game is tied at one. Deflection! Oh, turn! Shoot! Scores! The Panthers win! The Panthers have done it again! They've done it again! And they're one step away from the upset! The Panthers then came back to win their third straight against the Flyers. And back at center, steal by Lindsay. Lindsay comes in. He's going to try a shot. He scores! He scores! Short-handed stuff! Right attack of Doshis, Billy Lindsay has given the Panthers a run. Brendamore on the draw, Brendamore with it, Niedermeyer takes it back, Deke shoots, SCORE! 